In order that you achieve the mercy, what should you do? When the Quran is being recited, keep quiet, listen attentively, concentrate. And that is the reason why the kuffar of Mecca, when the Quran was being recited, they knew it has an impact, powerful impact. It has the effect to heal the heart, to heal the mind, to heal the body. Allah says it has shifa in it. Allah says it has in it itminanul qalb. It has the sukoon and the peace of the heart. Alladina amanu wa tatma innu qulubuhum bi dhikrillah. Ala bi dhikrillah tatma innul qulub. Those who believe achieve the calmness of the heart by the remembrance of Allah. For indeed, it is the remembrance of Allah that will calm the heart. What calms your heart? What calms your heart? Is it not the beautiful, melodious recitation of the Quran? If it is good news to you, you're a believer. It has an impact even upon non-believers. It has an impact even upon the hearts. Go and check out the social experiments that people have engaged in. Seeing any random person on the street and telling them, listen to this, how do you feel? And a lot of them will tell you, I feel calm. I feel relaxed. It's soothing. Those are some of the most popular and common words. So Allah is telling us, it calms the heart. The dhikr, the remembrance of Allah, which is the most powerful remembrance of Allah? Afdalu dhikri, tilawatul Qur'an. The best dhikr you can ever engage in is the, the recitation of the Qur'an. The best dhikr. Why? It's the word of Allah. The word of your Lord, your maker. Subhanallah. So give importance to this Qur'an. Continuing from there, it's not only calmness of the heart. Ya ayyuhal nasu qad jaatkum maw'idatum min rabbikum wa shifa'un lima fi sudur wa hudan wa rahmah Allah says in it there is guidance and mercy and Allah says O oh people there is a reminder that has come to you it's a reminder Powerful reminder that's encouraging us to go through the meanings. We have memorized it. Now let's look at what it says. The meaning of it, the translation, the tafsir, the broader lessons. When there are lessons that happen in the masjid regarding the Quran and its teachings and the tafsir and so on. Please attend. Why? It is shaitan who comes and make you lazy and think that that is not important because it is the most important. There we go. The word of Allah. How can there be anything more important than Kalamullah? So Allah says, Maw'idatun min Rabbikum. Beyond that, Allah says, Wa shifa'un lima fi sudur. In it, there is cure for what is in the heart. Imagine the qualities of your heart will be cured. The jealousy, the ill feeling, the malice, the dirt, the love of worldly material items that come in the way of you and Allah. Everything is dealt with by what? Recitation of the Quran, connection with the Quran, the true connection. Sometimes you see a young lad reading beautifully, melodiously. We will tell that young lad, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, may Allah bless you, what a lovely recital. But my beloved child, listen to one thing make sure that your character and your conduct is equally shining. Because your recitation is really shining. Allah gives you. You don't want Allah to take it away. And the hadith says that the Quran, when you neglect it in any way, shape or form, will go away from you even quicker than a camel that is not tied properly will go away from you. 